Don't tell me to hush, Vincent. I'm going to tell people a little bit about you. You may have watched my previous video on murals in South Florida. This is Murals 2-2. We were in Seaside, Florida. That's not really its technical name. I think its technical name is Santa Rosa Beach. It is located on the north side of the Gulf of Mexico, and that is where we're moving today, to the panhandle of Florida and points west. All right, this is called The Hook. People that teach others how to do better on YouTube, they say you've got to set a hook. Okay, so I'm setting this hook. My hook is this. I need you to watch this whole video. I will be taking you to murals, not only in the panhandle of Florida, but Mississippi, Louisiana. Some are crazy. Some are on guitars, pianos, you name it. Well, you'll just have to watch. All right, I hope the hook is set. Now, back to Seaside. When you go to Seaside, you will notice this ginormous mural. It's of Vincent Scully, and he was the central figure in shaping this revolutionary design of Seaside. The artist's name is Gaia, and he's from New York. Scully is a famous architect who also taught at Yale. It was a gloomy day when we were in Seaside and we went to this wonderful post office. It's so cute. If you haven't watched my short on this post office, you have missed it. It's so cute. So back to that gloomy day. Of course, I had to get a latte. And I don't know that I've ever gotten a latte in a paper cup that they actually did the design on the top. That was pretty cool. This is the Amavita Coffee Roasters there in Seaside. None of the locals seem to know about this house or they're just keeping it quiet. But this is the house from the Truman Show. Anyway, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Seaside real quick. It is a planned community that was created in 1981 on what had been an 80-acre private family retreat near Seagrove Beach. The community is a pioneer of the concept known as New Urbanism. I don't know what you call it, but it was really, really a nice little place. We walked everywhere. Shh, yourself. Now, let's move along farther west to Mississippi and to the wonderful town of Biloxi. We found these murals. Greetings from Biloxi. Wait a minute. Before I tell you any more, have you subscribed yet? I need you to subscribe. Back to Biloxi. We walked most of the downtown streets. And John Majure, he is the promotions director over at City Hall. He gave us this brochure that is the historic downtown Biloxi walking tour. And of course, we walked and we saw all 21 stops. Number 21 is the Biloxi Tricentennial Mosaic. It was made in 1991. And it is a lasting tribute to Biloxi's tricentennial celebration that was held in 1999. It's not really a mural. Is it a mural, even if it's a mosaic? I don't know, but it's cool wall art in a town, okay? But look at this building. Does it not look old world? It's now the city hall, and I gotta tell you something really exciting. What happened behind that crown? on that level, but I'm not going to tell you in this video. You'll just have to wait. I'm not sure when I'll get to it, but hopefully soon. <laughs> You're not going to believe it. I almost didn't believe it, and I did it. We popped up to Jackson, and we caught the Blues Trail. Many towns take advantage of painting these utility boxes to spiff up the town, give a little flair and character, and in Jackson, it's all about the blues. And we found this one on Bo Diddley. He was born Elis McDaniel in Magnolia, Mississippi in 1928. Speaking of old world architecture, look at this beauty. Look how tall this building is. I'll get to it at some point in time also. But if you want to see more videos on old world architecture that I've already put up, go to the architecture playlist. We found this mural of sorts on the back of a railroad car behind a coffee shop that we went to in southern Louisiana. And this mural, it's on a guitar-shaped piece of metal. We found it at the View Village, a heritage park and museum in Opelousas. And this was one of our coffee dates. We went to the Creole Bagelry and Cafe. Bagelry, that's kind of a hard word to say. They have a mural on this old piano. And if you've watched the video on Rain, Louisiana, you will remember this fantastic mural. Follow me if you want to go somewhere else. Fun and amazing flip-flops on the ground. And classic road trip. For more on quirky and peculiar places, hit this card. But don't do it right now. You've got to watch the rest of the video and then come back to this heart and click or just remember to go to my quirky and peculiar places playlist have you watched my videos from louisiana yet there's quite a few flip-flops on the ground and classic road trip thank you